pulse I'm getting now of people, and, and this is just regionalized, they're frustrated with the Liberal government. There is a need or people a feel that people want to see change, but some of us are fearful. You haven't been in power for 15 years. It's easy to criticize. How are you going to change when you're in power? And it's easy to be in opposition to say, well, what are you going to do, Liberal government, to fix the water situation? What are you going to do for energy, replace energy? Right now, we have a lot of issues with groundwater, and nobody will take responsibility. Will the Conservatives do anything to change it? I believe not. You go someplace else. One. Because you'll scare the chickens. Can't see it changing for the better or the worse. Everything's going to be operated from, through, and by the GTA. Whether it's federal or provincial, nothing exists past London. Just regulation coming from Toronto. You know, there's, there's issues over uh, with uh, the conservation authorities, just their power, all the obstacles that are in place now for any drainage works and stuff like that. Some of those people think that their, you know, kids think their food comes from the back of Loblaws. The big thing that we have down here that I'm hearing far more here than the rest of the province is divesting of roads and bridges. They, they want to close them. That's where we make our living. We have large machinery today. So when you close these back roads, we have to go on the main roads. Want to follow us? Like, leave us on the back roads. <laughs> you're making policy out in Toronto. Why don't you come down here to the rural routes and see what your decisions are doing. Our infrastructure, some of these bridges that we need to build and you know the safety requirements. Well, I don't have 100,000 cars going over some of our bridges. We have a tractor sometimes, you know, 10, 10 cars. So why can't we build the suit? Why can't we come up with uh, recommendations that suit our, our area? From a business standpoint, we're uh, ever going to be pinched this year. And we talk about a 60% increase in, in labor uh, over the course of this 10 year period of when I took over the reins, you, know, you look at a 120% increase uh, in hydro costs from when I took over <laughs> from my father. And, uh, and it's a, those, are, those are my two biggest single expenses to run the business. And, and those were all uh, government controlled uh, increases. It's a very, uh, very worrisome time to uh, to, to, ha to have a business that is very labor dependent. And agriculture, unfortunately, is very labor dependent. With the Liberals staying in power, I know, unfortunately, what's coming down the pipeline. Um, it hasn't been good for business in the past. It's not gonna be good for business in the future. I have to, I have to look elsewhere. So, uh, as crazy as it sounds, I, I, I don't even care who was, who was in who is running for the other parties, I have to give them more of a serious look. We're hearing that people aren't sold necessarily on Doug Ford. He's, he, he's not a slam dunk down here. In my opinion, uh, he's going to get in because people are just that angry with what they got right now. So it's whoever you hate the least is who you're going to vote for. It's a sad statement, but it's real. Talk to us. You know, come to the rural areas and talk to us and see how we can do more for the province. And I think they'd be surprised. And it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a cost to them. Listen, you know, take some, you know, just listen to our innovation.